One thing about me, you can never say I look like what I'm going through. Do I look like I go through shit? No. <laughs> but <laughs> it seems I'm God's strongest warrior, soldier, brigade. Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you snow that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born in town, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe Good morning. It is currently 7.05 a.m. I've been up since about 4.30ish. Well, I've really been up since 2. But I've been up moving around since like 4.30. And I am about to start my day officially. I have a few videos that I need to record. And um, I have some schoolwork that I need to do. And I have wigs that I have to do. I just have a very full day today. So I'm gonna start off my day with a smoothie. My bananas are going bad. I don't like to eat brown bananas, so I'm not gonna be eating these. You don't wanna eat a brown banana, but what? What is it about a brown banana? You don't wanna eat a brown banana, but you a... Mm -hmm. You suck a nasty dick. <laughs> you might as well eat that brown banana. I don't know if so I figured instead of putting them, instead of wasting them, I'll just go ahead and make a smoothie out of them before they go too, too bad. So I'm about to actually just go ahead and make me a smoothie with my bananas. Nice to meet you. I also have some blueberries that I haven't had in the refrigerator for a little while and I'm going to just go ahead and use them. I can't tell if blueberries are old because they're, they're fucking ugly. Hey Siri, how can you tell if blueberries are old? I found this on the web for how. Can you I tell? I can tell if blueberries are overripe blueberries are mushy to touch and a sour flavor. However, the berries can be salvaged by using them to create jam. And then I have some frozen mango. I love me some mango. I need you. I'm sorry. I'm just and then I'm also going to take a little bit of juice and then I'm going to take a little bit of this juice I actually don't like the way this tastes this is the lemon ginger however you say this word <laughs> but it's like a lemon ginger um, juice blend from Trader Joe's absolutely hate the way it tastes, but I'm gonna pour a little bit in there, just for a little something. Yeah, I don't like the way it tastes. It has like this really nasty acquiring aftertaste. You can definitely skip this part, <laughs> but I like for my smoothies to be sweet. <laughs> and bam, that's it. I'm using the Nutribullet um, blender that I got from Target a few months ago um and i'm just now really putting it to use the first and the first time i used it was with chef um when we made our own tomato sauce but i've been using it lately for my smoothies and yeah do i need to put anything else in there honey would be good mm, we can put some honey in there we got some banana, blueberry, frozen mango, some cranberry juice, a little bit of that lemon ginger, honey, ice, and sugar, and bam. off by itself i never tried to see if the blender turns off by itself but it was blending for a long time i'm pretty sure that it's freaking done perfect amount see we don't like wasting food over here we don't waste no food no beverages no nothing look y'all know i'm big on saving coins okay you know make your coffee at home go ahead and get your own starbucks coffee make your coffee at home Make your smoothies at home. 
So what you need to go to Tropical Food so you can make your own smoothie at home. You save so much money. Make your own frappuccinos, get your blender. Mm. I was good, I need to make a name for this. I got these metal straws from Shein. Look at that, perfect. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. <laughs> now I'm about to go ahead and start my day with doing my lashes because I hate seeing my face with no damn lashes. So yeah, I got my little setup going on over here, lighting back. About to sit here and record myself doing my lashes so that way I can really start my day. I got my smoothie. I'm about to do my lashes. Y'all, it's about to be a productive mother effing day. take a little intermission. Be I've been on this computer. It's currently 546. I've been on that computer for the past six hours doing school work. I'm proud of myself, but I'm hungry. I haven't had nothing all day outside of that coffee I made earlier. We had to do a quick switch up real quick. Uh, St. Perry's having a pop-up today, so we're about to head there. I am extremely late because I was doing my work earlier, but it started at two and it's currently like five o'clock and they end at six, so I feel bad, but I'd rather be late than not show. Let's go. Let's get it. Guys, okay, which one is it? This person. Get out of my hand. I don't trust. I know everybody has different rules. What's your own rules? Hi, yeah, I know okay. different rules. So for me, my in my brain, if you have an egg that's a different color, you can put it out. Yeah. And you can put all of them out. If you have eight okay. of different colors, put them all out. Yeah. If you have a draw two.
said you can't take all the pressure I'm playing I know you hate to see me grow, no, no Cause if the world was ending You would try to take me for my last breath Hold it now, the gun up to my forehead Drown me out so you could stay afloat instead I get away It is a brand new day. I actually pulled an all-nighter. It is currently 4 o'clock, almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Hey, Google, turn the music down two notches. Because I ain't got time for no classical artists to be copyright my videos. But anyways, um, yeah, it's currently almost 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, I've been editing. I have been talking to brands through emails. I have been recording, and I just got finished recording a video of me installing this wig. Um, I'm still not even finished. Um, I'm about to make me some breakfast because your girl is hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> but I'm always hungry because I literally only eat like once a day. But yeah, so I'm about to eat breakfast because I'm really hungry. I probably won't eat again until dinner time. And um, after that, I'm gonna go ahead and shower and then, you know, wash my face, brush my teeth, do my makeup, and then I'm gonna do, cause I'm not really active on TikTok and everyone keeps telling me I need to be on TikTok, so I'm gonna do some TikToks, some reels, I got uh, to finish this video right here, and then I have to do this trial haul for lounge. Oh, and I have to do this video for better help. That's gonna be the last piece of content outside of this vlog that I'm gonna be recording this week because I'm tired. So um, I did a lash video, I did a wig install, I just did another wig install, I'm about to do a try on haul, about to do better help, and I'm gonna continue on with this vlog. My light is flickering. Y'all know how I feel about lights flickering up in here. That's another thing though. I'm just ranting right now, but that's another thing. I really need to move out of this apartment because I have not, ever since I've lived on my own. I've lived on my own since I was 19 years old. Ever since I've lived on my own, I have never had a place of peace. I've never had a place of peace. I've never had a place where my home was peaceful. I've never had any like traumatic events happen in my home. Like I've never had that. So like even me, even when I was in New York, even me coming here to Atlanta, like I moved here and as soon as I moved here, boom, some crazy shit happened. And I'm tired. <laughs> Damn, I'm tired as fuck. And it's late. It's five o'clock in the morning and I haven't been asleep yet. So maybe that's a part of it, but my ass is hungry, so I'm about to make me some food. I'm about to make me some bull eggs, um, a bagel and some turkey sausages. I'm still gonna shower, still gonna do my makeup, still gonna finish recording everything that I need to record, and then do homework assignments and stuff and readings. So we got a busy day today. We got a busy day today. But she would never be a play that looks like this. You could pay me a million dollars to do this in my school. Mm. Oh my God. Cause you deserve better than that. That's low vibration. <laughs> I would just like, I'm playing that. I'll sleep for a very long time. <laughs> I'll sleep for a very long time, but I am up now and I am editing this vlog. I am about to make me some food. Look, a girl got to eat. I haven't eaten since this morning. That was at like four o'clock in the morning, five, four, four or five o'clock in the morning. So now I'm about to go ahead and make me some dinner. I probably just make me some spaghetti because it's like quick and fast to do, but yeah. I had a dream, obviously when I was asleep. I had a dream and my dream told me that I need to <laughs> move out of my apartment. 
not really my dream told me that i need to move out of my apartment and it's not funny like it's so not funny like i feel like my apartment has brought me so much stress it doesn't make any sense so i'm not gonna leave the building because i still have a lease with them i don't want to break my lease so i'm gonna just ask to do a um unit transfer like just transfer to a different unit i saw on the website that they had another unit available on my floor because i would like to stay on my floor i just want to be in a different apartment because i'm on the top floor i definitely will want to stay on my floor because i like it up here and i like how high the ceilings are i like the view i just want to be in a different apartment so I'm thinking to actually get a studio because I don't need all the space. I don't even have enough furniture to fill up my one bedroom apartment. And I'm I'm and I don't really even have the desire to because I don't plan on I don't want to like fill up this space because I know this isn't like my home. This is just a place that I'm I'm staying. I don't know. Does that make sense? I just feel like this apartment or my time here is just I'm like I'm one of, I mean, I don't know, I'm renting this, but I just feel like it's so temporary that I don't even care to fully furnish my apartment. I have everything that I need, it's functional, but I don't feel like, I don't really have the desire to like make it a home. I don't know, I've been here for over a year and I just have like the basic necessities, my bed, my sofa, TV, my workstation, my bathroom, my kitchen. You know, I mean, a full size mirror, washing dryer. I mean, that's all I really need. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking to get a studio. Um, my rent right now is a little over two thousand dollars. It's like twenty three hundred dollars a month, and it would be nice to pay less than two thousand dollars a month. I haven't done that in a very long time. I haven't done that in a very long time. So it would be nice to do that. So uh, I think they have a studio on my floor actually for like $1,900. I would love that. You know, I could save $400 a month. Y'all know I'm big on saving. I could save $400 a month on rent if I move into a smaller unit, you know? So I'm gonna work on that on Monday when the office opens back up. But mm, yeah, this place, I don't know. I was. Maybe because I didn't get any sleep last night or whatever. But when I was recording, I was like getting extremely emotional and really overwhelmed. Um, I don't know if I, it could be because, you know, fatigue, you know, lack of sleep, you know, maybe um, me not feeding myself or, or just, I don't know. But when I was sitting here recording, it just, I just kept getting flashbacks and memories of that time where I felt so little sitting in my corner on the floor on my laptop crying while my ex was having a temper tantrum destroying my apartment like no, I think just my apartment just has a lot of negative energy in it, which is why a lot of times I be wanting to like stay busy. I keep myself busy. I'm, I always find something to do. Like I, there's always something for me to do. So like I write down on my calendar every day um, for the. I write down on my calendar what things that I have to do for the month, and I break it down into weeks, and then I break it down into days. So it's like I'm I'm always keeping myself like on a schedule and always doing something so that way. I don't know. I really don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't wanna take it out on you. That's my problem too. I think I have so much. I think I have so much like frustration and anger and disappointment like built up within me that it's just overwhelming because I I try so hard to keep a smile on my face I try so hard to be positive and optimistic you know I I feel like 
I take a lot of my energy and I try to make like other people feel good about themselves because I torture myself when I'm by myself if that makes sense like not torture myself maybe that's the wrong word I feel like I I feel like I take I feel like I take out my anger and frustration and sadness out on myself I don't know, it's just overwhelming. I don't even know how to explain what the fuck I'm talking about. I just know one day I'm gonna look back on these videos and be like, girl, you came a long way. I can't wait for that day. I cannot wait for that day. I'm looking forward for that day. But I know in the, in the meantime, I have to go through the motions and figure things out and take things one day at a time and just learn and grow from everything that has been thrown my way. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired. <laughs> I try not to worry about anything anymore. I know worrying is only affecting my mental health at the end of the day, so I try my best to release control. I know when it's all said and done, I'll end up with the perfect person I'm supposed to be with, the career I'm supposed to have, the opportunities, the everything. Worrying is just showing God that you don't believe in the imperfect, perfect plan for your journey and that's just not how my faith is set up so yeah i want to see all my people win and we know that i love you then i got you to the end and you snow that everybody used to show me love where I go at i was born to shine i speak my mind and get that glow back